Three baseball drink shots. Wait. Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we have the pleasure of talking about what's in the shop, aka the E75TS plus the KPZ Bulldog M4190. You have three offers, the first one for the E75TS only for 6.5k gold or 8.5k gold and one another with both the tanks for 10.5k gold. Unfortunately, you don't have an offer just for the Bulldog, but don't worry, I'm gonna try to explain to you why I think that this offer is extremely worth it. Let's first talk about the main reward, which is the E75TS. It's not gonna be too long because I wanna change the, my, my review format. So I'm just gonna talk overly about what I think globally about the stats of the tank. We start off first with the gun of the 75 ts Great accuracy, great DPM, great penetration, so definitely a reliable one. For the armor profile overall, let's say that the tank has that strong armor, but two weak spots, the first one being the lower part of the hull and also the sides of your turret if you are facing an enemy that can penetrate more than 260 millimeters of raw armor. Of course, you can still angle it to make it artificially better, but most of the time it's not going to be the case as you don't have the best mobility ever, neither do you have the best gun depression. You still have 10 degrees, which seems quite good for this tank, but as it's a really high tank in in terms of aesthetic, you will not feel like it's really 10 degrees of gun depression. But don't worry, the tank is quite versatile overall. Now, if we talk about the second one, which is the Bulldog, an amazing mobility, no armor, an extremely re reliable sorry, gun, and most importantly concerning the gun, two things, the gun depression, 8 degrees, which is way enough for you to work on pretty much every single terrain, but also your penetration featuring HG shells, because as you can see, 100 millimeter, which will allow Allow you to circle around and probably sneak a lot of HE shots on your opponents, therefore increasing artificially your DPM. We start off with the playstyle of the Bulldog. How do you want to play that tank? It's not necessarily a game changer tank and it has a really traditional light playstyle, but if you want to play correctly, let's say that you are going to try to take the advantage, take some advantage over your opponents by trying to sneak some HEs on their sides. I want to remind you that HE shells are here to increase the module damage, therefore if you shoot at an HE and penetrate your opponents, you will have more chances of destroying, I don't know, Amorak, crew members, modules, etc. Which can make this tank quite a deadly one in the right hands, because if you, let's say, penetrate three or four HEs in a row, trust me, you are going to destroy all the tier 8 mediums in the snap of a finger. Now, as you can see, I'm not trying to play too much aggressively here. Why? Because I have my two TVP VTUs which are pushing through and therefore all the attention of my enemies are focused on them. And I'm going to use that to, as I told you, use my HE shells. And when you use your HE shells with this tank, you have 320 alpha damage, which is way enough for you to completely annihilate whatever you have in front of you. As you can see, we don't necessarily have to play with HE all the time, but in the best composition ever with this tank, what you want to try and what you want to avoid, let's talk about this, what you want to try is obviously shooting your HE shells on your opponents, trying to circle, use your mobility, trying to spot for the rest of your team, and what you want to avoid is direct contact. Don't be the tank your enemies want to shoot at because if that's the case you are really gonna struggle now as the ISU-152 seems to be AFK let's try to see what the DPM looks like when you're shooting only with HE and look at how amazing this one is you reload in five seconds a little bit more 5.7 seconds but in 5.7 seconds you inflict 320 alpha damage here for example we killed that ISU-152 and we could have killed it a little bit faster if we had the right RNG but let's say that when you have this kind of HE shells loaded in your magazine you are one one of the most threatening tanks in this game concerning DPM which will allow you to have such those uh, games with nearly 4k damage and the first class. Now guys it's time for us to talk about the E75TS which is the main price, oh, price, the main offer let's say like this. Concerning the E75TS let's say that it's kind of an E100 or an E75 
at tier 8. Let's say it like that. More an E75 than an E100 because you are not featuring a 640 alpha damage gun. Otherwise, it would be pretty OP. But how do you want to play that tech? As I told you, the main weakness of the 75 ts is how easy it is for enemies to penetrate the lower part of your hull or at least easy to penetrate for tier 8 featuring a good penetration because trust me a lot of tier 7 and tier 6 if you manage to encounter some of them are really gonna struggle going through your armor why because that's what wargaming intended in the first place with that tank they wanted to have a tank that is strong reliable and which will allow newbies probably to be able to sustain on the battlefield. I want to remind you that this tank was part of an event not so long ago, um, it was in 2020, probably around October, where you could literally unlock it for free. So I don't know if it's the, a good idea for you to actually buy the 75 TS. Maybe waiting for an event to drop for you to be able to get your hands on it is a better better option but if you are interested into the kpz bulldog then yes you will have to buy the offer that features both of the tanks now the playstyle. when you are facing tanks that you're sure can't penetrate your turret even without angling it for example here with the t29 you want to try to be in all down of course being in all down with this tank is quite hard as as i told you you will have an extremely high turret which means that if you want to go around or poking poking over a hill you will have to nearly expose your hull which makes it easier for your opponents to penetrate you saw it for example with the t29 here but most of the time if you find the correct position you will be able to avoid that now with our amazing penetration we can go through pretty much everything with this tank and that's what i really enjoy about my e75 ts as you can see on the on our counterpart the 75 ts in the front of the of the in front of us i should say it like this we managed to put it out easily now the main problem about the 75 ts as i told you is the mobility look at how we struggle here against the sta and thanks to the tiger one we didn't die but if he was not here we would have probably getting killed now we have to deal with the kd4 and the 75 ts the 75 ts is probably sneaking his way around and not trying anything so we are focusing on the kv4 for the moment unfortunately it seems like the 75 ts changed his mind and really wanted to get that kill on the tiger one i'm not gonna blame him for that that's completely logic and we managed to just kill him by shooting one shot into its side spaced armor so as i told you with the 75 ts what works the best is probably being in all down but side scrape works quite effectively as well as long as as i already told you your enemy is not featuring at least 260 millimeters of row penetration because if that's the case they'll go through your gun mantlet quite uh, gun mantlet gun cheek sorry quite easily anyway that was my little review of those two tanks because i thought you know what before people buy them maybe they will try to take a review or something concerning those tanks to know if they want to have them in their garage hopefully you enjoyed if that's the case feel free to subscribe like and share and i'm gonna see you soon for a new video bye guys